Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to find the factorial of a number using for loop so guys the factorial of a number is the product of all the integers starting from the number 1 up to that number which is entered by the user so let's say for example the factorial of the number that is 6 which is entered by the user it will be equal to 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 6 and the result will be equal to 720 which is the product of all the these numbers over here and guys this is the way that we find the factorial of a number which will be entered by the user now guys the factorial is not defined for the negative numbers and if the number that is entered by the user is 0 then the factorial of 0 it will be equal to 1 and this is the denotion that we provide that is 0 factorial it is equal to 1 so guys let us write the python program in order to find the factorial of the number that is entered by the user so guys the very first thing that we will be doing is we will be taking the input from the user inside this number variable and then over here we will use the input function and then we will say enter the number so that this is the instruction to the user in order to provide the number now guys we need to convert this string data type to the integer data type so we just prefix this integer function and we enclose this entire input function inside the int function now guys we can simply use the for loop or else we can also use the recursive function so in this particular program we are going to use the for loop in order to find the factorial of a number now guys since we have the number we can simply use the for loop over here and before the for loop what we can do is we can say that if this number that is entered by the user if it is equal to 0 then we can simply say that the factorial is 1 so over here we can simply say print statement and then we say factorial of entered number is 1 and then before this entered number what we will do is we will provide the number that is entered by the user so it will be 0 in this case so we say dot format and then we provide this variable that is number over here so we say number in this case so guys this condition will help us in order to know that the factorial of the number that is entered by the user if it is 0 then the factorial will be 1 but what if the number that is entered by the user is not 0 so over here we can come in the else part and then inside this else part we can simply have the for loop and we can simply say it is i and then we say in range and the range it will go from 1 up to the number plus 1 so we say comma and then number plus 1 now guys since we have to include this number that is entered by the user as well so we have to provide number plus 1 or else the functionality of the range is that in such a way that the second parameter which is entered over here it is not considered and that is the reason why we have to take an extra number and that is why we have done plus 1 over here if let's say the number that is entered by the user is 10 we have to go up to 10 and that is why we have to take the number up to 11 over here in order to include the number that is 10 so guys over here after the colon what we have to do is we have to find the factorial so before this what we will be doing is have another variable that is factorial over here which will be initialized as 1 now guys the same Thing we can do since the factorial is initialized as one over here instead of providing one in this case we can provide the open and close curly braces and after this number we can provide a comma and we can provide this variable that is factorial so it will say factorial of entered number that is zero if the number that is entered by the user is zero is this particular curly braces which is factorial which will be one in this case now guys after this for loop what we will be doing is we can simply have factorial on the left hand side and then on the right hand side again we will have factorial and then multiplied by this item that is i over here which is ranging from 1 up to number plus 1 so guys initially what will happen is let's say if the number that is entered by the user is 4 so what will happen is 1 up to 5 this is the range so factorial is 1 initially so 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 and then next time the i value will be 2 so 1 multiplied by 2 will be 2 so 2 will be stored in this factorial and then 2 multiplied by the i value will be 3 so 2 3 is a 6 so factorial will be 6 right now and the next value of i will be 4 so 6 multiplied by 4 will be 24 and that will be stored in this factorial variable next time the i's value will be 5 so it will be out of this range so the control flow will come out of this for loop so what we have to do is after this for loop we have to print the same thing again the same statement but this time the variable values will be different so over here factorial of entered number that is entered by the user is factorial 
the result will be stored in this factorial in this case. So guys, let me just save this file now and try running this code. So as you can see, user is being asked to enter the number. So let's say we provide the number four this time. So when we press enter, it says factorial of entered number that is four is 24. Now guys, let us take this example that is factorial of number six, it is equal to 720. So when we run this code once again over here, and when we provide the number that is six, when we press enter, as you can see, factorial of entered number six is 720. And this is how we have successfully written the Python program in order to find the factorial of the entered number. Let us run this code once again over here. This time we will enter the number as zero. So what will be the factorial of number zero? Comment in the comment section below. Let us see whether your answer is correct or not. So guys, please make sure that you practice on your own so that on different inputs, you get different output. Make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is Python program to find the factorial of a number but this time we will be using the recursive function. So guys make sure that you watch this video as well so that you understand how recursive function works in order to find the factorial of a number. So stay tuned.